What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today. With the release of EA Sports PGA Tour, we now have two big golf games out in the public arena. And of course, with there being two competitors out there, we now have to try and answer the question of which one is better. Is it 2K23 with their second effort on consoles and the improvements that they've made, as well as the use of licensing, such as bringing in Tiger Woods into the fold? Or is it EA Sports PGA Tour with their first iteration in God knows how long? Um, I think the last iteration was Rory McIlroy um, and obviously the licenses that they've brought in and their own approach to the golfing genre. Well, that's what we're here to do today. We're here to discuss that very competition. So let's get into it. So let's start with 2K23. With a very strong foundation um, in 2K21, they've looked to build on that predecessor and try to build on that and in going into 2K23. I think with 2K23, they did improve, maybe not as drastically as you would maybe hope with a two-year gap, but it still was an improvement. The strength that 2K has over any competitor at the moment is its community and the customization. When it comes to customizing your golfers with the latest threads, or if you are so inclined picking up some truly out there gear, then 2K has you covered. But also, there is the huge aspect of the golf course creation that 2K has. 2K21 was rightly praised for this aspect, and it's built on it for 2K23. Whether it's to create their dream course or whether it's to replicate real-life courses, they gave people and creators the opportunity and the ability to create them however they so choose. But there is also the gameplay that we need to get into a little bit as well. The golf itself was highly praised in 2K23, and for good reason. I think the ability to master your golf swing is one of the main components of the gameplay, and it wasn't an easy feat to master in 2K23. This obviously has its benefits as well as its drawbacks, depending on how deep you want to get into the gameplay and how much you want to try and master that, or if you're there just to enjoy a normal Sunday of golf, like some people will do. They don't want to go into the depths of despair for mistiming a golf swing. They just want to be there for a casual time, and that's perfectly fine itself. But you've also got the aspect of the online societies and the role that they've played in extending the life of 2K23. To me, 2K23 is certainly a long-term title because of the amount of time you can invest both in mastering the game itself as well as the online aspect of it. Not so much for the career mode, but like I say, for the gameplay, mastering the gameplay and for mastering the online societies and getting involved in the tournaments on an online capacity. However, when it comes to EA Sports, for me, they have simply got a better career mode and immersion, and especially in the career mode aspect. For me, the main selling point for EA Sports PGA Tour is living out that fantasy of becoming a pro and living out the golfing dream with all of the licensed courses and going up against the pros on the tour. They've got 30 courses loaded into the game from day one, with more courses coming once the majors hit, such as I think it's the Royal Victoria um, for the uh, British Open. Um, and then you've obviously got the main courses that are being used for the US Open and, and places like that that are being used this year. And they're going to be coming in the future. And they also have a range of pros on offer from Scotty Scheffler to live to a pros like Ian Poulter. So if it's licenses and a deep career mode you're looking for, I think EA does win that battle. Also, in terms of gameplay, I do think EA is a touch more accessible. That's not to say that EA doesn't have its challenges. It does, and those challenges for me, I really like. But it does feel like for me, and this is just my personal view on it, for having played both games, that bad timing isn't as big a factor as it is in 2K. And again, not that there's anything wrong with that approach, but for me, the preference on the, in terms of the swing and in terms of mastering the swing, I do prefer EA. I think there are more factors that go into how the shot goes in EA and I do think that it makes it a touch easier to get the swings right or closer to being right. I've also been move, able to move up to the hard swing a lot quicker in EA. But people will obviously have their preferences but let me know in the comments if you have played both games and which swing or gameplay you prefer. I've loved the career mode in PGA Tour. It really has hit the sweet spot with me and I like the challenge element to it in that it isn't always going to go your way. I went from winning the Players' Championship at a jogging pace to struggling to making the cut in the Masters a few weeks later um, and also struggling in this tournament that you're seeing on screen right now. 
But having a course creator and having the customization options available really does help extend the lifeline and the lifetime of a game. And I think between 2K and EA, there really is no competition at this point. It's an area that EA really needs to greatly improve on, whether it's something they do in this iteration or the next. Time is only going to show us that. Because if they had extensive online modes and customization or even just better options than what they do, then I think EA takes their decision of which one is better uh, quite comfortably. So to answer the question, um, obviously that we were originally here to, to answer, which one is better or which one is the preference um, for you or which one is my preference? It's a soft answer. It's a get out of jail answer but it really depends on what you want to get out of the game. If you're solely there to play golf on your own and you're solely there to live that life of a professional golfer, taking on official tournaments, trying to win all four majors, then EA has won it hands down. The immersion along with the licenses are unmatched. That doesn't just go to the licenses and the courses. It also goes in terms of the life, the life likeness of the pros as well as the commentary that's going on in the background when you're playing the game all these things add it to make the career mode a really good package and worthwhile the time and investment that you're going to put into it but if you're wanting to play online and take people on as well as get involved in online societies maybe customization maybe setting up your own golf courses then 2k has that down to an absolute t there's no competition whatsoever it will be interesting to see what happens next in terms of the next installments or the next sort of updates as we go along with these two games because 2K had a two-year gap between 2K21 and 2K23 and it'll be interesting to see if that continues because it is a smaller studio by all reports and it'll be interesting to see if EA makes this a yearly, yearly basis or yearly release because if it does, then it's going to need to make sure it has big updates going every year to justify people paying the £60 or $70 price tag that you're going to have in stores. But if EA does go the same way as 2K and tries to update the online aspect of it over the course of the lifespan of this game, then I do think the question will lean towards EA more than it is currently. I think it is right down the middle because I think there are two types of players in the golfing sphere. I think you've got the players that want to just play the career mode and I think you've got the players that want to play online and get involved online. And I think that is the split of if you have that, then you're going to K for online and then you're going to EA for your single player. So let me know in the comments with that being said, and obviously all the talk that we've had on the video today, what is your preference? Are you like me who prefers the career mode of EA or do you prefer the online community aspect of 2K? To be honest, if EA did have that online community, I think I would be solely involved in ea itself and i don't think i would think about potentially going back to 2k at this moment in time i am thinking about giving 2k another go i haven't really played it since maybe christmas time because i did buy it when it came out and i played it for a couple of months but with the online aspect and obviously maybe wanting to play with you guys in the future that might be something i need to look into but we'll see what ea does in the long run but again like i said let me know in the comments what you prefer as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks very much, guys.